Hello there, Truth Seekers. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of raw news and analysis. Ladies and gentlemen, buckle up. We're about to dive into the latest jaw-dropping saga of the royal soap opera. Meghan Markle, the former Duchess, is at it again, and this time the crockery is flying in Montecito as she screams in envy. After being left outside a royal Christmas carol event hosted by none other than Kate Middleton. But stop right there before we disclose the details. Subscribe and hit the bell icon. So in a shocking return of events, it seems that Meghan was not on the guest list for the role Carols Together at Christmas. A festive extravaganza set to air on ITV1 and Britbox on Christmas Eve. The event boasts musical performances from A-listers such as Leona Lewis and Ellie Goulding, all close friends of Kate. Meghan, ever the spotlight-hungry individual, was reportedly furious, discovering that Kate had invited all the Hollywood elite, except for her and Harry, who have been enjoying the sunny shores of Montecito. Talk about a festive snub. Meghan felt not only snubbed, but humiliated by Kate's deliberate exclusion, especially after her attempts to mend fences. Expecting an invitation, or at the very least a phone call to explain the apparent cold soldier, Meghan felt betrayed. She had believed that burying the hatchet after Prince Philip's funeral meant a genuine reconciliation. Alas, it appears Kate was merely playing nice for the cameras, holding on to a grudge against Meghan for ruining the royal drama. But the drama doesn't end there. Kate, it seems, invited some of Meghan's former friends and colleagues from the showbiz industry, including Chopra, James Corden and Serena Williams, who had attended Meghan and Harry's wedding in 2018. Meghan now feels betrayed by the individuals here. The Royal Carols, together at Christmas events, spearheads the supported by Kate Royal Foundation aims to pay tribute to the work of individuals and organisations across the UK supporting communities through the COVID-19 pandemic. However, some critics argue that Kate's charitable gesture is nothing more than a PR stunt to boost her image as the future Queen Consort. The point out the irony of Kate hosting a carol service for others who have suffered during the pandemic while enjoying a lavish lifestyle and travelling the world. Meghan's fans are not impressed and tensions are rising. Rumours suggest Meghan is preparing a counter-attack against Kate and the royal family. A new documentary on Netflix, rumoured to be titled The Truth About the Crown, is said to expose the dark secrets and scandals of the monarchy. Meghan is ready to fight back, claiming that the public deserves to know the truth about how she and Harry were treated. She believes the documentary will be a game-changer exposing Kate and the royal family for who they really are. So in the end, only one thing more shocking than the exclusion of the Christmas Carol events is the war that seems to be brewing in the royal family. So what do you guys think about the news? Let us know in the comments, and we'll see you next time for more royal news and analysis.